Whether you like it or not, thriller dramas are here to stay. And one series in particular, we're looking forward to seeing the return of one of the lead men in crime dramas. Here's everything you need to know about Paramount's rabbit hole. That's right, the rumors are true. Kiefer Sutherland is going back to his roots as an action movie star. This spring, Paramount Plus will debut Rabbit Hole, a new series starring Kiefer Sutherland. That is a ball. I have just armed it. Don't move. You move the bomb detonates. If I hear any alarms or sirens, I detonate the bomb. Understand? Good. I'll be right back. As we all know, Sutherland's portrayal of Jack Bauer in the Fox suspense drama 24, which aired from 2001 to 2010 and briefly in 2014, is arguably his most well-known role. And we're about to see the actor return to the small screen with a similar role in Rabbit Hole. Creators John Requa and Glenn Ficarra, the latter of whom is well-known for his work on NBC's This Is Us, are the men behind Rabbit Hole. Apart from playing the lead role, Sutherland is also on board alongside Requa and Ficarra as an executive producer, but they're joined by a couple of other figures in the role of executive producers, such as Hunt Baldwin, Susan Bimel, and Charlie Gogolock. As for the production, Rabbit Hole will be handled by CBS Studios, and the distribution will be handled by Paramount Global Content Distribution. So yes, the expectations are pretty high for the series, which many are already comparing to 24. You think I work for Jason, but I don't. Trusted you. Just doing my job. Your job. My wife and daughter almost died today. How many people that trusted you lost their life today because you were doing your job? I mean, 24 was a groundbreaking television series in terms of its plot format, with each episode taking place in real time and spanning a 24-hour period. Apart from his role in 24, Sutherland continued acting in action-oriented roles after the show ended, portraying President Tom Kirkman in the ABC Netflix thriller Designated Survivor. You can begin by removing your destroyers from the Strait of Hormuz. Mr. President, excuse me, but I believe you have been misinformed. Is that a fact? Yes, we, we have moved no such destroyers into the Strait of Hormuz. My Defense Department has war game this out. They're waiting for me to give them the green light. So, we'll be seeing the trademark crime drama that's boosted Sutherland's popularity then. Let's now examine all we know about the next series. What is the plot going to be like? Which celebrities will be in the cast? Once the series has been released, when and where can we view it? What else about Rabbit Hole should viewers be aware of? Well, if you're curious to know about the show's plot, here's an official synopsis for you to check out. Nothing is what it seems when John Weir, played by Sutherland, a master of deception in the world of corporate espionage is framed for murder by powerful forces with the ability to influence and control populations. Looks like our man of the hour will be riddled with a lot of mysteries while also fighting for his life. Sutherland's character Weir similarly struggles to preserve democracy in a setting that is rife with covert government surveillance, false information, and mysterious forces operating behind the scenes. And based on the synopsis alone, we can immediately see that the 24 lead actor seems to be comfortable in this environment. Rabbit Hole seeks to position Sutherland on the opposing side of the war, whereas 24 saw Jack Bauer battle terrorists to protect American safety. The tables have turned, and this time the authorities appear to want him gone. Some other things that we could expect in the series are elements of the spy and action cliches from prior thrillers and Sutherland's earlier work. And like in every storyline that involves the government or any other higher power, we can witness power battles between his character, John Weir, and those who want him gone. The show may also explore conspiracy theories based on what we know about the hints of population control and government surveillance carried out by unknown forces. So yeah, expect some pretty top secret cases and more on espionage, you know, the usual hullabaloo of crime dramas involving a higher authority. What's more, Rabbit Hole may investigate cases ripped from the headlines in the style of SVU, as these rumors are similar to some of the allegations we have seen in real life. It's important 
to keep in mind that this is still just a rumor and that we probably won't find out any more specifics until the release date gets closer. One thing we can always count on is that everyone wants Kiefer Sutherland out of any action movie. So we got the storyline and Kiefer Sutherland in the lead role. Who else is joining him in Rabbit Hole? Rabbit Hole has an impressive cast of supporting characters, in addition to Sutherland, who plays John Weir in the lead role. After Sutherland, the first actor cast as a successor was Rob Yang. He will play a high-ranking bureaucrat who becomes involved in a covert plot that has the potential to change the world. He may or may not be Weir's friend or foe. Deborah, one of the nation's most dependable news anchors, will be played by Wendy McKenna. Does she look familiar to you? Well, if you watched A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, then I'm sure you'll remember her. In the series, she receives a significant story and wants to be the first to tell the world about it. But first, she must determine the story's veracity and how it got to her. The rest of the cast includes Game of Thrones actor Charles Dance as Dr. Ben Wilson, Empire actress Meta Golding as Haley Winton, and Mayor of Easttown actress Enid Graham as Josephine Joe Maddie. Oh, and there's also Jason Butler Harner, who plays Valence in Ozark, and Walt Klink plays the intern. We do not know yet how these roles might affect the story or relate to Sutherland's John Weir at this time, because there are no additional details about them. Hearing all these pieces of information, we can't help but get excited about the premiere of Rabbit Hole. Speaking of which, on March 26th, Rabbit Hole will be available on the streaming service Paramount Plus, revealed during a session at the Television Critics Association press tour. The first two episodes will be released together, and the subsequent ones will come out every week. There will be a total of eight episodes in the first season. Sutherland's native Ontario, Canada, is where Rabbit Hole is shot and is also where some of the episodes of his last show, Designated Survivor, were shot. I am a husband, I am a father, and I am a son of this nation, and never before have I been more proud, more optimistic. So, that's pretty much everything you need to know about Rabbit Hole. Now, let's talk about Kiefer Sutherland. We all remembered how 24 was pretty big back then, and how it changed the game for crime dramas from there. If you think about it, I think Kiefer Sutherland made enough money that he wouldn't have to work a day in his life. And now, once again playing the lead role, what exactly appealed to the actor to star in Rabbit Hole? Well, it's the fact that each episode comprises one surprise after another. At least, that's what the actor told TV Insight in an interview. In particular, the thing that appealed to him most was how the showrunners John Requa and Glenn Ficarra managed to capture the same essence as the thriller film Three Days of the Condor. If you haven't seen this movie, it follows a member of the upper echelon, a CIA analyst played by Robert Redford, as he leaves for lunch and returns to find everyone dead. What comes next is that the lead character becomes hunted. Quite the development, am I right? Sutherland claims that these aspects from the film are what make Rabbit Hole such a well-balanced work, with humor, drama, and the element of surprise. So, if you're excited to see the actor in a role that bears similarities to those he has played before, then you better come and watch Rabbit Hole. With that, this has been everything you need to know about Paramount's Rabbit Hole.